good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, once again uh, as you know anil needs absolutely no introduction uh, great friend but i think uh, anil three decades and over 100 films in indian cinema and then a journey an international journey which started in 2009 with slum dog millionaire uh, your your experience with 24 here in the us and then you've done 24 for us on colors channel um, and and now more most recently Mission Impossible, uh, the latest one with, with Tom Cruise's film. It's been an outstanding journey. What a man. Uh, super energetic, as uh, you know, Sabas was saying. He's forever smiling, forever young, and forever full of energy. And uh, introducing to you, Mr. India, Anil Kapoor. Thank you, Sudhanshu. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Well, uh, um, that was a good introduction, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Uh, so it's, it's always wonderful to be here. Good evening, friends, all of you all over here. Uh, I've just landed today in the morning, uh, went straight to the hotel, took a shower, got ready, and I'm here in front of you all. So forgive me if there's any, if I lag somewhere, because hopefully I'm not jet lagged. Uh, yes, Jakas. Yeah, yeah, Jakas. <laughs> well said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jakas. Jakas obviously has to be there. You know? <laughs> has to be there. Yeah. So, uh, well, uh, it's a great city, you know. Always, it's you know, uh, to be in New York, uh, and I really envy people who are in New York. Uh, what a you know city which is a true example of diversity and culture and art and you know you name it. You cannot get bored over here, especially for a creative person. Uh, to be here is it's it's unbelievable. You know, you can re really learn so much. You can uh, absorb so much when you come to this city. You know, no, uh, absolutely, absolutely. You're right. They're talking of this city, the diversity, and and therefore this entire IFA piece as well. Uh, I wanted to ask, start by asking this question to you, Anil. I think, what do you think of the globalization in general, but also globalization of Indian media and Indian cinema? What are your thoughts on on that piece? Well, <clears throat> well, I'm not going to intellectualize it. I'm just going to speak from my heart. I feel uh, I think that's the best thing to happen to uh, uh, you know. I think the world, and especially to India, and especially to the youngsters of India. And of course, the most important thing is is the digitization, and which is really uh, you know it has shrunk the world. It has uh, you know, and especially for people like us, you know, who want to. Uh, who are content creators, for actors, for artists, and for the Indian cinema, uh, nothing could be better than, you know, uh, the digitization and the globalization. Because uh, it was, a, you know, it would have been otherwise a very, very tough journey to do things which would reach out in instantly. So I think uh, somewhere I feel the world has become smaller. And uh, just sitting at home, sitting in Mumbai, you can reach out to the world. Yeah. You're absolutely right. The, the world has indeed shrunk, and I think, you know, with digitization. Um, what is your... Uh, one other thing which I wanted to ask you is that, you know, we, you you'd brought the 24 format into India. You'd adapted it for us at Colors. Very successful start with the season one, and now we've done season two as well. What's your experience been as a producer and your thought of bringing these international formats or international formats and adapting them into India? And then, you know, how, how do you think that works, in your opinion? See, for me, I feel, you know, you know, whatever, you know, you know, the experience of coming here and staying here in, you know, when I was in America, you know, sometimes what happens is you don't have the practical experience and uh, you have bookish knowledge or everything is very academic. But I went through, you know, I was here for six months and I shot for 24 over here. So I had a very, very, very day-to-day uh, you know, uh, experience over here, where I met from the writers to the directors to the actors to the prop manager to the uh, from the top to the bottom, bottom, how they work. So that was a great experience. And the most important thing was the way the writers work, the writers' room, which is the culture which we don't have over there, the writers' room. So when I was here, when I was working on 24, I, you know, when I read the scripts one after the other, and when the first episode came, then the second came, then the third came, and the fourth came, and I just couldn't put the scripts down. 
I said, what is the reason? What's the reason? Why is it that, you know, I read it and, you know, every word is, you know, is so, you know, it's not that, it's not, you know, like it's about, it's a 45 minute uh, script, but you, everything is, you can make out that they all have worked so hard and they would first, the blue draft would come, then the red draft would come, and ultimately the final draft. And until the last moment, the entire team is working towards that. So when I, when I, I, said, I said, this is something which is not there in India. And uh, so when I spoke to Howard Gordon, who's the showrunner, I said, uh, I, I got an instinct, because I always want to do thrillers. So once in about three or four years, there'll be one good thriller, which would happen. But here they are churning out one after the other. Every episode, you can't just, it's relentless. Yes. You know, the writing is so relentless. And then the binge watching. You know, all these things are there. There are daily soaps which are happening, but there was never something like, the, something like that, something like uh, 24 over there. So I spoke to Howard. I said, you know, I want to do this in India. Instinctively, I felt. And he says, uh, fine. I said, uh, will you act as Jack Baba? I said, yeah, I will act like Jack Bauer. <laughs> and you had, and yeah, yeah. you know, I, I, will, you, will you do the lead? Congratulations, you yeah, were super yeah, at yeah. that. Yeah, so, uh, so from there, the journey started. So I, what I tried to do is create the entire working system, the work culture, and the experience of getting everybody over here. So what I did, I had a lot of workshops over there. I got the production executive, I got the writers over here from America, and made them, in, you know, and to get the entire, uh, the way they work. You know, the work culture, the discipline, the professionalism. So I tried to get the, exactly the same thing over there. And because we have talent over here, but there is a, there's a slightly, this, you know, the way they do it in a very structured way. Right. It's very, very scientific, very structured. It just, and still creative. So right. that's the kind of culture which I wanted to get over here in, uh, in India. So from then I started over here, then I pitched it to you all. And you all were, uh, you know, uh, I must thank you for, you know, you know, as I was taking this big leap, if it, I had not got the support from YCOM, I wouldn't be able to do that. So thanks to you all, and uh, the experience Pleasure. started, and uh, you know, doing 24 in India, and it was a tough journey, because the budgets were very small, compared to the budgets which are there in America. Like every episode over there is roughly about three to four million dollars. And here in India, I was doing it roughly about $200,000? $200,000. $200,000. So that's the the gap, yeah. But I remember, I promise you, when I when I when I showed it to Howard Gordon, the aesthetics, the, the, the scale, the production value, and uh, they said, "How do you do that?" And I said, "That's what India can do now." As we said, yes, the, the globalization and the way the West is looking at us, like there is a show which I might do for a you know uh, to one of the uh, the giants over here, is because the way because I did twenty four because they know. Okay, I can give them the same results which they get for five or ten million dollars. I can do it for two hundred thousand dollars with the same kind. Because we have great technicians, okay. we have uh, you know, but they just have to be correctly disciplined. So that was my experience. So when I did twenty four, and obviously we, uh, it was well received, and obviously there's a lot to learn. I'm going to do it even better. But I do the third season. We did the second season. We learned again. And I think it's, I've done many films in my career, but I, not because I'm sitting in front of you and I'm speaking to you, but the experience of doing 24 has been one of my finest experience of my entire career. Super, super. Thanks, Anil. I think key messages, if you look out, for, say from, you know what Anil said, one is writing, I think that's something which we need to take back in, in India, do that seriously. But two, I think we got to bring in some more discipline and method to the madness. And I think that will do us wonders. Just building from there, I think other than these messages, a lot of youngsters are, you know, sort of they emulate you, they sort of follow you, they, and even someone who's now currently listening to you, what would you say to the youngsters who are coming into creative field now? And how should they approach, and I'm talking about Indian youngsters, how should they approach this entire thing, Anil, as per you, uh, going forward? What could they learn from here? What could they keep in India? What is unique? What would be your, if I could use the word advice to them, as you, as, as from, from... I'm, I'm always the wrong person to, you know, advise, but, you know, because I'm very an instinctive person. I believe what I've learned from here, you know, uh, doing all these films and the international work which I've done, and of course, the great filmmakers I've worked in India also, I can't, uh, they've also contributed to whatever I am today, a lot is the prep, the preparation. 
you know there is a there is a you know there is an attitude sometimes in india is ho jayega ho jayega ye ho jayega ho jayega but you know they and they leave a lot for luck ki yaar naseeb hoga to chal jayega but over there i think when i when i worked over there uh they prep so much the preparation is so much there's nothing left for luck it's 100% preparation or beyond that so when they are on the set they prep so much so everything works clockwork correct and then they you know if it's 100% and sometimes you see the result which is beyond 100% because they prep so much so what we lack sometimes is the preparation uh and i think that's what the advice is to you know not leave anything for luck correct. just work 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 relentlessly work so hard prep, prepare yourself so much there is nothing left that uh, you know things can go wrong and of course the budgeting and you know that's very important and uh, uh, and um, having the right people getting the right people uh, you know to and professionalism and um, so that's what i i would i think it's preparation is no, the, no. is the key is the key yeah. for everything you know and uh, that's sometimes what we lack well said well said god is indeed in detail yeah. uh, i think the uh, uh, the other thing which i wanted to sort of talk to you about is our recent successes with two films which is one is bahubali which is done exceedingly well bahubali particularly bahubali 2 um in india and and dangal which is done very well in india but more importantly close to about 200 million dollars is the number which is floating around for its uh, ticket collections in in china so any reflections on coming of age of the indian cinema and what do you think i think you know is happening and what could be what could be first you know some things as it comes sort for future what are things to come in manner of speaking i think ultimately it's a content which is i think the content of bahubali and uh, and it's pure indian content that's what i was telling everybody when i was in uh, states also whenever i met all the executives the the, the studio heads and all and they all us the only thing they discussed was stories and content and indian stories you know yeah. indian stories because somewhere there is a saturation where stories are concerned over here so and we have so much to say so many stories untold so this is just a tip of the iceberg dangal and bahubali i feel and i feel it very very strongly that this is just the beginning of a very very glorious future for all the content creators from india and the stories which have millions and millions of stories because we are the one of the oldest civilizations in the world and the stories which we have are absolutely will be very exotic very uh, different and uh, i think they will be lapped up all over the world and this is just the tip of the iceberg i see i feel Yeah, yeah yeah well said just the tip of the iceberg picture to abhi baki hai mere dost as they say so it's the the game has just begun i think on that note uh, let's go to the audience and any questions for anil i thought i'll it's best sort of you know i i leave it open to the audience yeah good so is there a mic which we could move around if i could request sabas i can't see here but anybody who could help us with a uh, yeah you're loud enough absolutely <laughs> no no they to are absolutely we you know the way they they are constantly looking out for stories from anywhere in the world it might be bollywood it might be mexico it might be japan you know you see one of the best films made over here are they picked up the stories from all over the world so if there's anything which is exciting i'm sure they will pick it up and from from the reason i uh, you know in my career and i'm sure so many of the studios which uh, you know and filmmakers and producers over there uh, it might be a adaptation of a south indian film also of any you know or a telugu film or a tamil film or it might be from anywhere in the world uh, like there is a jo hamesha hum log kehte hain na ke building banane se pehle sabse bahut zaruri hai ke zameen jo aapka zameen wo aapki correct hai ki nahi agar zameen hi achhi nahi to kya building banayenge to zameen achhi zameen uski location wo kitni fertile hai wo dhoondna bahut zaruri hai so it might be from anywhere so i americans and hollywood 
they are, you don't have to tell them if they find something they're going to make it they are constantly in look out for content stories books and i'm, I'm talking about 8 9 10 years where the bahubali is made now there are so many studio heads who were working on mahabharata and ramayan when i was there but 8 10 12 years they want to make it they want to make these stories and uh, you, you know if there are any films or any anything which is which they feel will resonate and they can make money because constantly when they look at business when they look at they look at the bigger pie they look the world as a pie like when i was doing mission impossible uh the paramount the only discussion which i had with the producers of mission impossible what is the reason that china there is so much of business and india mein itna business kyun nahi hota kya reason kya so i obviously had some you know discussions with uh, the studio heads and uh, with viacom also and what is the reason ke china the business has gone you know there are 300 million dollars 400 million dollars i think we what maximum how much we have touched in india yeah. 200 million dollars yeah 200. max yeah, yeah. 200 million yeah. i think there they i think they gone much beyond right well, well beyond that. one well beyond well that. beyond that. and and ours is just one of the films right yes there as much i'm mean, almost 7 to 8 or 10 films do more than 200 million dollars yes you are absolutely right, right yeah so somewhere i feel they are constantly look out for content and how they can you know ultimately is the numbers creative as well as business point of view they always on a lookout so if there's anything interesting exciting they will absolutely and i also believe in that that i am on lookout for stories and content from anywhere in the world it might be hollywood it might be a south it might be a book it might be a you know piece of news in a newspaper and you can create a story and tell the stories yeah yeah anybody else yeah there is another one there and then there's what inspires me and what motivates me when i get up in the morning you know for, because i'm working since so many years so what motivates me right so every decade the motivation change every day the motivation change i keep on finding something sometimes it's an emotional hook sometimes it's it's something which i've never done sometimes it's a filmmaker sometimes it's a story sometimes it's a friend sometimes it's anybody sometimes i'll do it for for my daughter for my son for for a friend sometimes it might be a filmmaker or sometimes i like someone's face <laughs> <laughs> so anything can inspire me anything can motivate me so i constantly i'm constantly look out for something which can uh, you know uh, motivate me uh, you know so every day every day i find something to motivate me so that i can do my best give my best to my capacity and of course what i've learned since the last 8 9 10 years with my uh fortunate experience over here i i was lucky uh that i got you know to work with the best directors and the best people in the world is uh, as i said is the way they prepare yeah so uh, yeah cause okay okay i think uh, i think now the things have changed absolutely that i don't see any any uh, you know among the youngsters and and the actors and earlier obviously everybody used to do it but uh, you know there was not so much of uh, uh, awareness where the media was concerned there was no social media so nobody knew what anyone was doing but everyone was doing a lot uh, but now every actor is 
fighting to the nail for every cause and they really going and doing it in a very very passionate way my daughter so many of my friends i know they're absolutely preeti was a preeti zinta yes. was she, she just was started just here, i think she's she used to for this, a cause and and she's been doing it relentlessly yeah everybody everybody yeah. male female everyone yeah, yeah. of course we do yeah, yeah. yes of course yeah, there are yeah. so many films which have yeah. been made yeah. and it's exactly the same way everywhere and of course ultimately it's the business also so it's a combination there is a lot of people who believe uh, who are good in you know uh, making films with a with a cause that's still making it entertaining so that everybody goes and sees it i see that's what all the big filmmakers always did mensch which is my advice to all the young filmmakers also which i always tell them you know films made by the great filmmakers like raj kapoor bimal roy uh you know what they did was they they like bimal roy made a lot of films uh, uh which had a message a social cause and great storytelling with a little bit of music so that a lot of people could see it raj kapoor has made many films and, and a lot of filmmakers so with if you can entertain the people with a cause obviously then a lot of people can see it and it reaches out much more rather than making a very very sometimes you you know you make a very film which is very niche and hard nobody ever sees it and you just have about 5 400 500 people screening for them it doesn't i think it doesn't have that kind of impact so i to totally believe that make these kind of films but if it can reach out to many more people uh, is i think i think that's a bigger achievement Yeah. yeah it's changing but to just give you an example of ycom 18 our own studio yeah. motion pictures uh, you look at kahani you look at queen you look at maricom uh, a slightly smaller film margarita with a straw so there are a lot of films which are completely women oriented films with a cause so i think if, uh, there is a lot which is happening in this space yeah, 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 yeah. there's a lot which is happening in this even nirja as you yes, you know yes nirja of course yeah. absolutely yeah. nirja <laughs> and uh, yeah yeah <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much that's a real real uh, you know you motivated me again <laughs> no seriously i see these things motivate me yeah of course uh, you know i'll look at life uh, very positively i'll look at people very positively i think from their point of view then i think from my point of view uh, so i think that uh, makes a lot of difference and uh, and i feel success is 360 degrees you know so certain people success is uh sometimes you know they have three four things for me it is uh 360 degrees and uh, most important is uh, health and happiness uh so i think to each his own but i think that's what has uh, kept me the way i am sure thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> I think virtual That's quite a <laughs> and all the studios <laughs> are really uh investing uh a lot in virtual reality and that's the future. Uh yeah. When was this photograph taken? Sorry? You are absolutely right. He looks younger than this photograph, you know, so every year he's growing younger. <laughs> this, so quick <laughs> question. This is to I'm looking at least 10 years younger than this. <laughs> ये किसी को दिखाना मत वी हैव टाइम फॉर वन मोर क्वेश्चन या टाइम फॉर वन मोर सबास इज सेइंग यू वर शट अप शट अप सबास इज हियर व्हाट सबास इज हियर ही इज सेइंग शट अप सॉरी सॉरी नो नो देयर आर टू क्वेश्चंस वी हैव कप नो आई एम वार्मिंग अप नाउ इन योर बॉडी पैकिंग अप यू सबास यू कांट या वेल सेड अनिल you can't get anil to the forum and say you don't sort of you're not not i'm just warming up because i was slightly <laughs> jet lag so i was not yeah, yeah, yeah. you know i'm just no, no, warming no, up now i'm coming into my own or we will pack up for now don't last two questions two sorry it is still be warming up sabas <laughs> just tell everybody to you know there were nobody wants boring speeches yeah <laughs> entertainment <laughs> 
<laughs> With a little bit of message. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. The question there. Uh, well, uh, I've been, um, uh, since last more than 10 years now, I've been uh, associated with the Plan India, uh, which is a world organization, but uh, and I'm very proud of that organization. Uh, uh, I've been approached by the biggest in the world, and I've, you know, but this is an organization which I believe in, and I'm, very, I'm a very loyal person. So I am with Plan India since a decade now, more than a decade. And uh, you know what, you know, so many things which you can do, it's not always the money. The money is important that you do a lot of charity. It's a time you give. And there are times when you're just the person in between to connect people. Just pick up the phone and do something. Like for example, for Plan India, what I did was, when Slumdog Millionaire uh, was being released in uh, India, so obviously, uh, Fox Star and all, they were just starting off, you know, all the studios were coming in. So this was the first film uh, they were uh, they were releasing. And Danny and everybody came and obviously I was the senior most and the most experienced among the entire team. So what I did was I introduced uh, the, uh, the, the producer and Danny to Plan India. And uh, I said, I'm not going to force you all to do anything. You all meet each other. I trust these people and I worked with them. So the producers and the directors met Plan India. And um, last, uh, from the time the film is released, uh, uh, you know, uh, they're looking after the children. And um, I think uh, Slumdog, the profits of Slumdog, um, I, I don't want to go into numbers because it doesn't look nice. Uh, but you'll be very surprised the kind of work. Uh, they did, and they are the custodian of the monies which were made by Slumdog, and they are looking after these children and doing much more. And Danny uh, Boyle, nobody knows. He comes in, comes to in Mumbai every every year. Every year, yeah. Every year comes without anybody knowing about it, and uh, you know, so a lot of work has been done, man. So I've been, you know, involved with with them since more than a decade. I don't want to get into the detail, but yes, I am involved in Plan India. So anything anyone uh, wants to... There is yeah. Plan USA also, if you know. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah that last yeah. question. Yeah. Thank you. Never. I've never felt like that. Never. I've never felt. See, you have to understand India is a very, very complicated country. You know, it's so many religions, so many people. And, um, and, but ultimately, it is the best country in the world. 
you know, I've seen many friends of mine, Americans have come over there and seen. And, uh, you know, I said, the smiling faces which you see in India, you'll never see anywhere in the world. So no matter what anybody says, okay, there is these little bit, you know, things are there and all. You know, ultimately, if you have the, what is your instinct? What is your you film अगर आपकी नियत अगर साफ है आपका दिल अगर साफ है आप पैशनेटली ये फिल्म बनाना चाहते हैं ये बैंडेड क्वीन शेखर कपूर ने बनाई थी वो पास हुई कि नहीं हुई आज भी कितनी लोग फिल्में बनाते हैं बनती हैं वगैरह कुछ ना कुछ मुझे ऐसा नहीं लगता ये थोड़े बहुत इंसिडेंट्स होते हैं ब्लोन uh, you know, uh, it just becoming, you know, it's going from strength to strength in every wit department. And uh, youngsters are speaking, people speak what they want to speak. Here and there you'll hear, okay, aisa ho gaya, aisa ho gaya. but overall if you see the thing, it's the greatest country. Generally, I'm telling you, from my bottom of my mind. My experience, I've been, I've born in India, I've been working since the last 38 years. Little bit issues are there in every Every decade, there are films which are made, but ultimately they release and people go and see the film. There are little bit incidents here and there. But ask them to go and stay somewhere else, na? I mean, I They'll that, ultimately come back there only. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I don't believe in it. Serious, yeah. generally. Yeah. yeah. On on that note, on Mera Bharat Mahan, and actually, so uh, and so, chats and no more questions. Thank you very much. Okay, last one, last question. No, everything is light. I don't think there's anything serious. <laughs> For me, everything is light. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, daughter, son, both the daughters, nephews, everybody is in films. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, my wife is fed up. My wife is fed up. She's fed up because you see, she was, she's a banker's daughter. She's a banker's daughter and she had only one actor. Uh, in the fa you know, when I was the, you know, the, so I would come and, uh, and, you know, look at the better, look at how I'm looking. <laughs> You know, and talk a little bit of my little bit about the work I've done. Now she has four or five people. <laughs> so it's 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 it's. No, no, she you know a little bit now she knows. Otherwise, all you know I you know I've been with her since now more than forty two, forty three years, and she's tried her best to keep the children. You know, there's no film magazine in the house. Um, you know, and not going on film sets, and you know try to, so that they're normal children. And, they, you know, my younger daughter studied in NYU, New York. My eldest daughter studied in Singapore. My son studied um, in Chapman, Los Angeles. And all of them went abroad, studied. So <laughs> film. You know, the so, wife tried her best. But you know how it is, you know, you, I believe, I think that's the way I am, that you should let children you know, and do what they enjoy, what makes them happy. And I'm sure even you or anybody will be happy if they're really passionate about it, they enjoy being in this. There are problems and tension and, and uh, complications in every business what you do. So it's fun, but obviously it's stressful for her because it's constantly in the dining table. I said, sometimes she will you stop talking about films? <laughs> all of all. But ultimately it's fun. It's fun, yeah. You know, because they're happy. So what makes them happy? Makes us happy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. coming to your question, let it be if your son or daughter or friend wants to be, if she's feeling genuinely passionate about it, so <laughs> let her go ahead. Yeah. But, but I don't know whether you noticed, uh, Anil's look is actually for a 70s film. He's growing hair in yeah. the 70s style. So I think, you know, and, and on, on that note, as, as Anil said, he believes in everything which is balanced and holistic. Here's to Anil Kapoor, the actor, Anil Kapoor, the producer, Anil Kapoor, the husband, Anil Kapoor, the father, Anil Kapoor, a friend, and inshallah, Anil Kapoor, Mr. India. Thank you very much, Anil, Ranshu for being with wonderful. us. Thank Fantastic. you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much.